Roblox just released the hunt like a day ago and I've collected you guys 50 badges that you can get fairly easily. You know, some of them take like 2 minutes uh, and some of them take like uh, probably a little more than 10 minutes. But yeah, before we start, make sure to subscribe and like this video. And let's get right into the first one. Right, let's go from the first one. I don't even know if this is the first one, but first one is Barry's Prison uh, Escape. I don't know what's called. Barry's Prison Run Obby. Alright, so once you're in, click on Play. Uh, difficulty, you gotta turn off first mode because that's what I used on my alt account. I don't know if that affects you, but yeah, anyways, once you're in the game, this obby is pretty easy. I mean, I don't play much obbies, but yeah, it was easy for me, so it should be easy for you guys as well. Basically, what you wanna just do is run around and find donuts. So I believe you have to find 10 donuts, so this is one donut already here. I don't know if it's randomly spawning, but I'm... I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's... I don't know if it spawns randomly for every person, but if you're struggling to find the first one, it's right over there. I don't know if it's the same, but yeah. It's fairly easy, the obby, so uh, shouldn't take that long, but yeah. Just go around and search every corner. There should be donuts uh, wherever you find them. Alright, next game, we'll go for Brookhaven. So, enter the portal, obviously, and we are in. So, here are the updates, obviously, the egg hunt's there. Alright, so for Brookhaven, you want to go over here and click on this, and this will pop up, which is the, like, progress for you. You gotta go around and find 20 eggs around the map. So you can click on this button and spawn in a vehicle that probably doesn't have a star because I believe it costs Robux to spawn one in. But yeah, just get in a vehicle and roam around, just explore the map and find eggs around the map. So it's not, uh, past this red border, so that probably like narrows the map down but yeah it shouldn't take that long it took me 10 minutes on my alt account so yeah there's already one right there shouldn't be that hard to miss it's really big there's one there as well that's already two that we found in like 12 seconds but yeah you just gotta find 20 of these and you will get the badge all right i just realized these aren't in order every time you join the server but yeah next we have ultimate football all right once you're in here as you can see you just need to play through four quarters and you get a cool badge which is obviously what we're trying to go for you get this item i don't really know what it's used for since i don't play this game you also get a banner which probably has your name on it and stuff again i don't play this game so i don't know so four quarters will probably take you like i don't know 15 to 20 minutes this is probably the longest one uh on this list but yeah that's probably it all right this game is probably the easiest one on my list and all you need to do is reach area 20 so as you can see i did play this like as soon as it came out passing 99 but yeah i have unlocked till area 10 you just need to get to area 20 the reason why it's so the easiest probably is because this has like millions billions of visitors and it's probably like one of you guys and most of you guys would have probably reached area 20 and that's like an instant badge as soon as you join the game. So yeah, that's a easy badge and moving on to the next one. Next game is Legends of Speed. Alright, so as you can see here, uh, you just need to get 500 steps. So as you can see, I it is 3000 because I already played this game and... That would be too weird if I got instant 500, but that is with Pet Simulator 99, so I don't know why it's different for this. But, oh, I can't get on this. I'm so bad at this game. But yeah, I did play this for a video once, but you just need to get 3,000. It's 500 for new start players, like brand new start players. But as you can see, as I'm talking, I just got the badge. So yeah, it's that easy, guys. You just need to run around and have some fun i guess it'll literally take 30 seconds even if you're new so yeah this is one of the easiest ones as well along with pit simulator to 99 next game is livetopia and as soon as you join the game you will see this pop-up message obviously you do want the badge so click on yes to participating in the hunt game and basically all you need to do is just follow this uh guideline i guess this arrow and just complete the necessary needs all right so yeah this will only take a little bit of time because uh it's really slow walking there but yeah this is pretty straightforward because it gives you tutorials inside the game live like when you're playing the game you just gotta take this crate to the designated area and do that until it satisfies needs so as you can see here you just gotta sit here for three minutes and melt the ice on here I'm pretty sure it's this game, but but yeah, to open the safe, you need to go to your house, and you can only the, open the safe there. 
yeah pretty sure it's this game so you can't place it and open it down on the streets so i'm pretty sure it won't work so go to your house and spawn it in there and unlock it there all right so next game here is live together and click on this button over here click life snap and what you want to do is change the camera and go around and take a photo of eggs around the map as you can see egg collected one out of ten there's another one here it's fairly easy it's just around the spawn point so you want to go back life snap go there take a picture of that and two out of ten you're just gonna get ten and that's a pretty easy bad right there all right so next game we have here is need more friends and there will if you click on this button there is a little tutorial here on what you need to do so 10 crystals and you need to go to this magical portal so there's a crystal here that's one there and another one here and definitely not a nuke nor that but anyways once you get 10 of these you need to complete one of them is a obby a maze room and a laser room so you just got to survive those three little mini games and once you get to the end you will get your badge all right next game we have here is the hello kitty cafe simulator i don't know what it's called but yeah the hello kitty game Basically what you need to do is get a hundred customers, basically serve hundred customers, same thing. But yeah, this doesn't take that long, just build your own cafe and you will get customers over time. It'll probably take like five to ten minutes, depending on how large your game, large your cafe is, but yeah, that's a pretty easy badge right there. So as you know, I'm trying to make this video as short as possible since I have 50 badges. So sorry if this isn't in detail that much. I will probably make individual ones for a little hard ones. But yeah, stay tuned for that and moving on to the next one. Alright, next game we have here is pretty similar to the Hello Kitty game. It's My Restaurant 2. And yeah, it's basically the same thing as uh, Hello Kitty game. You just need to serve 100 customers. Build your restaurant here. Same thing as the cafe, but just the restaurant. But yeah, 100 customers should be easy, should take similar amount of time to the Hello Kitty game. So yeah, next one. Alright, so next game we have over here is Mega Mansion Tycoon. Over here, you can... What is this? Yeah, but it's basically that. You need to find four eggs. Click on this. It gives you quests over here. So this is the first quest here. And you need to get 20 buttons. Buy them and click them. Unlock the book. And you will get an egg for this quest. And second quest you complete you'll get the second egg third quest third egg etc etc once you get the fourth egg you will get the badge so it is pretty easy you just need to buy that and yeah you just need to keep buying these these are buttons apparently i don't think that's uh, i guess that's a button but yeah that's like how much is that that's 12 uh eight buttons that i've pressed so we just need to click seven more six oh, i don't have money right now so i guess we need to go make money but yeah that's basically it that you just need to uh 20 of them unlock the book which is right over here I, i'm guessing this is the book because the book logo right here but yeah whatever but yeah that's pretty easy to get right there i'm moving on to the next game Alright, so next game we have here is Ninja Legends, and if you've already played this game, it should be really easy, but basically what you have to do is get 500 ninjutsu, uh, which is this currency, I believe, the blue things. So basically, to get that, what I just did there, you just need to pull out your sword, I don't know what this is, I forgot, but your number one ability, I haven't played this game in a long time, but yeah, just keep... Uh, but yeah, just keep like hitting, clicking, and you will basically earn that. You just need to get 500, 1000, depends on the player. But yeah, I've seen someone having to get 3000 for that. But yeah, basically you just need to click and earn ninjutsu. And there is easy badge right there. Alright, next game we have here is War Machines. And basically what you have to do is collect fragments by killing these bandits or whatever you want to call them these monsters uh enemy teams yeah that is, that's it so basically just eliminate them and you will gain fragments from them you need to collect how many of them 60 of them to claim the badge and cool suits and a cool mask when you get 800 and 180 of these fragments so 
yeah, this is a free suit. You just need to click uh, on your suitcase, which will be your number one when you spawn in the game. Click, scroll down and click on a free suit, free costume, uh, whatever. And just drop down from the lobby area and just come here, fly around, find some enemy teams and eliminate them. And yeah, have fun with that. It will take a little bit of time, but yeah, it won't take that long. Alright, so next game we have here is Gunfight Arena, probably the most famous one on my YouTube channel. But yeah, you gotta click on Cross Crossroads, the new map over here, TDM, and deploy in. But yeah, whenever you kill someone, an item drops from them. As you can see, there's a burger there, and oh, that person didn't drop one. But yeah, you just gotta keep uh, shooting people, and they will drop these random items. Uh, you need to collect 10 of each, so there's 5 items. That's a sword, so a burger and a sword, and you don't need to kill anyone. Uh, when other people kill other people, you can also collect that if you're fast enough. So yeah, 10 of each for each item, so that's 50 total, and yeah, moving on. Next game we have here is please donate, and what you want to do is spawn in and follow me over here. Go to the guitar guy, and as you can see, 5,000 here. I'll explain what that is later. You want to click E and talk to him. A cool cinematic animation here. Alright, so after you talk to him, you want to go over there, other side of the spawn, towards this place. And over here, take a sharp lift and go to this 100,000 nuke over here. Alright, once you're at the nuke place here, you want to go around and go to the back here. And as you can see here, there is a bunker type of thing. So come over here and hold E and hack this computer. So over here, you just want to click and like change the pipe arrangements. So as you can see here, literally takes me like two seconds per. I'm pretty bad at these stuff, but this, these should be easy. There is a lot. Alright, so after you've successfully completed that, which took me like three minutes. You want to go to this portal here, go inside it, and it will teleport you to this mining simulator looking map. So over here you want to dig for sl So over here you want to dig and find these diamonds. As you can see, I just got 31 diamonds from that. And over here you need to find a lot. You need to find 5,000, well not 5,000 of those individual blocks, but you need to collect 5,000 diamonds. And then after you have collected 5,000, you want to get back out of this place and go back to the guitar guy, talk to him, click E to do that, and just hand in the 5,000 and you will get the badge. Alright, so next game we have here is Murderer vs. Sheriff Duels. So you spawn over there, so walk over here to the hunt portal here, click E, and it takes you to this trophy award display room. So when you click F on these uh, trophies, they, they will give you like hints and stuff. So I'll tell you what these hints are. First one means that you need to find an egg that is uh, somewhere around the map. Next one is you need to get killed by someone in a game. This one means you need to win in a 1v1 duel. This one means you need to type GG easy in the chat just like that, GG easy after you win a battle. And last one over here, you need to win a game in Team Deathmatch. And last hint over here is obviously that you need to complete all of these in order to get the badge. Alright, so next game here is very old game, Natural Disaster Survival. So as you can see over here, you want to go to the top and it shows you to get 3 lost clocks. So what this means is, let's load into a game first. And you want to be quick, so this is good when you have a private server. But you just want to run around, depending on the map, it should be easy and hard to find. So that's it right there, the clock right there, you need to get that first. That's why I'm saying a private server might just be better, because there is a lot of competition in public servers. So yeah, basically, it'll take a few, like, games to play. You, there's only one per game, I believe, so you need to play multiple games in order to get that badge. But you need to get the clock, the first person to get the clock, and survive the whole Natural Disaster Survival game for three whole times. As you can see, this guy has it. If this guy survives this Natural Disaster mode, he will get one clock added to the guy's collection but he needs to do that three more times in order to get the badge and yeah moving on to the next one all right so next game we have over here is war tycoon 
Alright, so next game over here is Military Tycoon, as you can see. And in this game, and in this game, all you need to do is run around this map and find this chest or a box. It will be easy to find as it's glowing the hunt. You just need to open this and collect 20 of these. As you can see, your progress will be shown every time you get or collect the box. Alright, so next game we have here is a wolf or other. So as you can see here, I am innocent right there. So what we do in this game is go around the map and try and find the egg. The egg will be blue, I believe. So yeah, that ended pretty easily but because we got the wolf. But yeah, basically what you need to do is go around the map, find the blue egg. And you need to hold on to it for the rest of the map round without getting killed by the wolf. And then you'll get the badge after you uh, win the game. If you spawn as the wolf, you can kill the person with the egg. And you could survive and get the egg. Next game we have here is Mega Hide and Seek. This one you just need to play and win two games. So that's two games, I believe it's consecutively. It won't take long as uh, uh, like one round is only around like four minutes. So yeah, max it will take is probably like 10 minutes. It's probably a little, it's a little easy to like survive in this game. So yeah, just have fun and that's a free badge. So next game we have here is SpongeBob Simulator. Once you load into the game, you wanna come to this SpongeBob with the Hunt logo on top of it. And basically you just need to complete three quests. So that's destroying 55 chests in area one, destroy 100 dub Destroy 100 doubloon piles in area 2, dis destroy 25 drills in area 3, and you get the badge. So this one's pretty like straightforward as it tells you what to do right in the game. Next game is Combat Warriors, and you want to click on this to get a basic knowledge of what you need to do. Firstly, you need to earn 150 scores, so it tells you how much scores you can get her like what you do so one kill is two scores one assist is a score so basically you just need to get 75 kills or 150 assists and after you complete this you want to complete a short obby it's really easy it only takes like three minutes for me and you can get the badge there you can also get uh eggs ugc eggs all right so i just got a kill there and that should be added here so as you can see two scores and yeah, you just need to get 74 more, so good luck with that. Alright, so f next game is Bed Wars, and in Bed Wars, to get the badge, you want to roam around and find 15 eggs. Now, these eggs, I'm pretty sure it spawns anywhere, but mostly I've seen people get it in the middle area, including myself. I've gotten like 10 of them in the middle area, so yeah, just... Explore the map and find 15 eggs and that should give you the hunt badge. Alright, so next game is collect all pets. Now in this game, you just need to discover 30 pets, basically meaning that you have to hatch pets. So this is basically like pet simulator. You want to equip your pet and it will like eat or break these crystals and you can hatch eggs. As you can see, I got it a shroom, spotted shroom. And that just added to my The Hunt quest. So yeah, that's the only quest you need to do in order to get the badge. So it shouldn't, it should be like 5-10 minutes of just non-stop grinding. But yeah, moving on to the next game. Credits to Bunny Films for this, but you want to get a vehicle, put a little piece of wood in the back of your vehicle, drive into this cave, and place the wood on this, I don't know what it is, a button in front of this weird demon-like creature, you know? And it will bash his head on his on the wood and drop an egg. Take, this, the, take the egg to the shop and you will get your badge. Right, so next game we have here is Emergency Response Liberty County. Once you spawn at the civil spawn over there or the police station over here, you want to come to this road. If you're familiar with Liberty County, it should be pretty easy to find. It's basically the far right side of the road. And yeah, you just want to come here and find a big golden rabbit statue. You want to come here with your vehicle, jump out, and walk here. It is nighttime right now, which is making it a bit hard to see. But yeah, you want to come to the statue over here. Walk down this pathway and walk to this little first riddle thing. Click E to collect that. And as you can see, 
I need to fit like 50 badges and I'm trying to make it as short as possible in this video so I won't be putting a tutorial on where these coins are but basically there's this is the riddle you need to find like the clover coins off of this riddle as like a hint though there is 12 of them you only need to find three of them in order to get the badge which is good because better than doing four times the work right so yeah, just the third one gives you the hunt badge, and yeah, this is a pretty cool statue though. Anyways, next game. Next game we have here is Metro Life. What you want to do when you spawn is come to this little character over here, click E, and click how to do it. And here's a little tutorial. You need to collect the blue special effective affected orbs floating. You need to collect 10 of these. So you want to go to this, uh, what? hot air balloon click on and you can control this however you want so you can't control it with a space bar so just roam around like this so basically if you want to go down you can turn it off and it slowly descends but I don't know why you would want to go down because pretty sure every single one of these orbs are same level so yeah it stops you at like a certain height so just WASD to control your hot air balloon and just go to these cool looking Orbs and you can you need to collect 10 of these so three two one this hot air balloon is really slow Let's do that again three two one And there we go. Oh, we need to get to the center of it. There we go All right, so one point we have gotten a point and yeah We just need to do that nine more times and get nine orbs So this is really easy. It just takes a long time because this is really slow but yeah, moving on to the next one. Next game is Club Life. Next game is Club Roblox. So once you're in the game, this GUI will pop up. Click on teleport. And this is a little obby you need to do. Anyways, you gotta go in this little portal here. Anyways, yeah, you can go in the elevator over here, open the door, and you just need to complete this really, really, really easy obby right here. Alright, as you can see, you just gotta complete a series of pretty easy, like, escape rooms, and you get the badge. It's really easy, so it just takes a bit of time, like five minutes that took me, so yeah. And we also get this prize duck for 666 Robux. Alright, next game we have here is the survival game. So first thing you want to do is open up your map. And on the map, you want to locate the treasure icon. Now go to the treasure icon. And after you go to the treasure icon, you should be able to get your badge after fighting some of the bosses there. Next game we have here is the tsunami game. So... What you want to do is you want to have a hundred people in your server that has crossed, which means they have like passed and they have survived. So once that is completed, you want to go to the third cave over like right here on my cursor. And on the, in this cave, if a hundred people has passed, there will be a secret room in there. And inside of the secret room, you will need to collect a tracker. It will be on the ground. You click E to collect it. And then... You follow an arrow, which is what the tracker does. It guides you to the way. You follow an arrow, and it will take you to this open area, like a desert village. And you just need to walk for like around... It took me like four minutes to walk on my alt account. You just need to walk four minutes. And there's another E that you need to press, and then you get your badge. So this is pretty easy. You just need 100 people. You just need good luck. You can server hop and stuff. And you can also like, and and it just takes time to walk so long, so yeah. Alright, now we're in Bayside High School, so first load into the game and click the hunt. Now click on navigate, and follow this blue line. Over here, click E, and it will teleport you to this new game. Alright, so we need to come up to the stage, and we need to play something. So this is basically like row beats, you need to use D, F, J, K on your keyboard, and play the song. Alright, there we go. We just got the grade. I mean, the badge. So, we do need C or better. And although I'm not so good with these games, I still got a C. So, that is eligible for a badge. So, as you can see, the message, if you missed that or not. If you missed that or not. But, yeah. I have got the badge. So, yeah. Moving on to the next game. Next game we have here is... Uh, the Floor is Lava. So as you can see here, this 
little legendary coin or whatever this is spawns every eight rounds which means you will have to like wait for a few rounds but considering that it is a pretty easy type of badge it's a pass all right here we go we have gotten into the core blocks realm or whatever so we just need to complete this little orby over here it looks like the speedrun four crystals not gonna lie is it it might be all right so i did die there but when the core blocks realm map happens you need to just complete the orby go to that egg over here on my cursor and that's a free bad right there all right now next game we have here is red cliff city you want to go to this guy over here next to his little tent and follow the green line now just like other games you can spawn vehicles on the right hand side of your screen so make sure to do that to save yourself a lot of time from walking so as you can see here we're over here at the first spot and click first piece collect second piece but yeah anyways this should be pretty straightforward there's lines guiding you where to go and after you've collected all of that i think you should go back to the camp guy over there camper there will be another line in case you're lost i advise you to use a helicopter since it just flies around and it's easy to get from place to place but yeah that's a free badge from red cliff next we are playing super league soccer and in this game it's probably one of the easiest uh, games as well to play. You just need to play two matches. So, you can either lose or win. It doesn't matter. You just need to play two matches. I'm pretty sure they're like six minutes per game. I'm not too sure. But yeah, should take around ten minutes though. So yeah, you can win, lose. So pretty casual uh, badge. So yeah. Alright, next game is Arm Wrestle Simulator. So, once you spawn in, come to this little portal here. And over here, you just need to complete six of these quests in order to get the badge. And as you can see here, there are little GUIs, so it's pretty easy to find these eggs. So, we just go here and click on these eggs, and there we go. That's already one quest completed. And just five more to go, and we can get the badge. Next game. Alright, next game is Bike of Hell, and in this game, when the hunt map is active... Uh, you just need to complete this little map here within 10 minutes of the game. Oh, I just died there, and as you can see, there's a timer up there. Alright, so I didn't complete that one, but I was so close. Although, if you do get the end of the race, you do get the badge. So, next game. Alright, so we are in Escape the Running Head, and to get the badge in this game... All you need to do is just complete three stages over here. As you can see, it shows you a progress from stage one, two, and three. And that is basically all you need to do to get the badge. Next game we're in is Snowboard Obby. In this game, you just need to complete a hundred of these uh, check marks. Well, basically levels. So as you can see here, your progress shows uh, right over here. So when you cross this, this should turn to eight. There we go. And you just need to do that 92 more times. Next game is Spray Paint. So you want to go to this guy over here. And you need to talk to him for a little while. So after you get the quest, you want to come down here and go to the subway. Now down here, you will find the thief. Now you just need to go behind him and draw a self-portrait of yourself. Alright, now that we have all the cans, we come back to Hobo Joe. And there we go. We have got the badge. Alright, next game is Blade Ball. And when you spawn in, you want to go to the hunt portal, whatever you call this. And you want to get in here before it gets full. Now you just have to survive for a few minutes and get the boss. And jump over these uh, obby looking things. Oh, these guys will probably get the badge, so congratulations to them. And let's move on to the next game. Alright, next game we have here is Adopt Me. And over here you want to drive to this place, which is in the mainland. And you can go through each of these portals and collect these cogs. Now as you can see, we need to reach that. And in order to reach that, we need to find out which of these glass things aren't, like, gonna kill us. So let's just go in the middle to get both of them, so we know it's that one right here. And we just need to test these, so it's gonna be that one. So once you get this cog, you still need to get three more, two more, I believe, and you will get the badge for, for Adopt Me. Alright, so next game is Sonic Speed Simulator. So in this game, you just gotta go around and find these, like, time shards. And hold Q to get them, and you need to get a hundred of these in order to get a badge. 
Now these randomly spawn across this whole map and it won't be that hard to like miss because they do look really different to these ordinary looking like gems or diamonds. So as you can see here it looks really different just get that. That's two already, and you just gotta run around and try to get a hundred easily. Now we're in Carrier Friend, and let's go to the Hunt's Portal. Now inside of here, you need to find 10 magical eggs, as well as completing this obby. And as you can see, you can use your alt account or get your friends to play this game, and throughout this obby, there will be these eggs, and you can hold E to collect them. Alright, next game is Big Paintball 2, and all you need to do is get 50 kills. So let's just run in with our sniper. Alright, there we go. As you saw down in the bottom right corner, uh, I have gotten the badge. So, it appears that it's, com it's a combination of 50 kills, like total. And, like, between rounds. It doesn't have to be 50 kills in one single round. So that's at least good because it's easier for people to get 50 kills than then because you can get like 20 kills, 10 kills, 20 kills, just like that and still get the badge. So this is a pretty easy badge, it just takes a bit of time to get the 50 kills. So, Alright, so this very long video now comes to an end. Comment down below what your favorite game in the hunt was. And subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, guys.